welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. You're Sambo, Seraphis, and joining us here in Grudania are some of our favourite members of Distant World. Oh my lord, with a firecracker, Catella Avonlea. Hello to you. Hello. You are looking awfully cute today. I think that the outfit you're wearing has got something to do with the reason we are here today, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Blind Rage Skywalker in the background there trying to set me on fire. Good afternoon to you, Blind Rage. Good afternoon, Zambo. How are you? I'm good. I just have to make a quick note. We're just going to pan the camera around here very quickly. And are you feeling okay, Blind Rage? And the reason I ask is because, well, you're wearing pants. It got cold at oh, night, so I decided to put pants on. Okay, thank goodness for that. Good to see you, and of I can take them off for you, though. No, 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 no. That's that's quite. You all sure? Right. That's, no, that's that's. Fine. You can become blind like me. Yeah, no, no, it's quite okay. Uh, yes, thank you. Okay. For that. Thank you. But you know what? Someone who isn't wearing any pants at the moment is Pico Man. And hopefully they join us on voice chat. Hello to you, Pico. Hey, how's it going? It's been a while. It has been a while. And may I just say, by the way, that I got your lovely message in our last Let's Play episode, which was a great episode. And big, big thank you to Catella, by the way, who delivered that in such a heartfelt way. Pico, it was nice to hear that. Thank you very much. Good to have you back this week, by the way. Do you know how long it's actually been since we first met up back in the day? Um, I think it could be September 2011. September 2011. That is pretty much nearly a year ago. I can't believe it. Thank you very much for those early days when you saw poor little Seraphis here struggling along, completely bumbling along, knowing nothing. And you, out of the kindness of your heart, stopped by and said, hey, would you like a hand? And that's where this all started pretty much. So thank you very much, mate. But you know what? You are looking just somewhat, well, you've got no pants on to put it bluntly. Why on earth do you have no pants on and what on earth is that that you're wearing? Well, they could be called boxer shorts, I guess, but they, they are there underneath my uh, yukata, which is part of the new summer event. Ah, uh, summer event. So hang on a minute. Catella and... Bl in fact, hang on. Everyone here is wearing something a little bit different. Uh, all of these outfits. Catella, is this all to do with the summer event? It is. Oh, okay. So hang on. Does this mean in an episode, if I get to do all this stuff, will I get a new outfit? It does. Oh, okay. All right. I think that deserves a cheer. And by the way, Catella, you're going to be very proud of me. You'll be able to watch this on the YouTube channel. I am now going to use a macro to cheer. Thank you, Blind Ray. And there we go. Now, it just so happens that you told me how to do it, but we'll just forget about that for a moment. But yes, thanks to Catella, I now have a row of macros here. You can see I've got very complex ones like, there we go, bow. I've got cheer. I've got wave. And I've also got one here called mini ninja is a witch, but we'll check that one out later. By the way, does mini join us on voice chat? I hope not. Maybe. Oh, she's there. Whoops. I was just kidding, Minnie. Just kidding. Anyhow, look, I'm very excited about this because, of course, yes, we're here to celebrate the Moonfire Fair, which, as I understand it, Blind Rage is a summer event here in Final Fantasy XIV. Does that mean it's not going to hang around forever? Yep, it's going to be gone here in a few days. Oh, okay. So it's just as well we logged in here to capture it on film, so I can't wait. All right, so I think there's a number of different parts to all of this, and with a bit of luck, we're going to have Blind Rage and Catella and and Pico show us a whole bunch of different parts of it. So that's going to be awesome. And then hopefully we're going to meet up with the rest of Distant World very shortly. But first things first, I'm inexplicably drawn to Pico here because you're standing next to some crazy looking machine. What? What is this thing, Pico? Yeah, I guess it's a good place to start the summer event because if you target it and then... Okay, targeting it. It's come up with a whole bunch of question marks. Is that what it's meant to do? And then hit it, hit it again. All right, we'll hit it again. Oh, oh, it's come up and said that it's Fire Maker Jocelo. Ah, an adventurer if I'm not mistaken. That's right, that's me. Care to try your hand at the slightly less perilous pastime of firework launching? Oh, oh, no way. Fi oh, look at this. Okay, so I've got a menu come up here, Pico. Tell me about this. What is all this? Red, blue, green, Azema. What is this stuff? Well, we may as well just go through each one and uh, you'll see as you go. What? So I can click on this thing that says a red lion, yeah? Yeah, give that one a go. Okay, here we go. Red lion. Oh, 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 hang on. Let's zoom out. 
Oh my lord! Okay, so it's actually... I, oh, wow. I love fireworks. You've got no idea. I love Guy Fawkes here in Australia. Hopefully everyone knows what I'm talking about there. But I, this is my very own fireworks machine and it doesn't cost anything. Hang on. A fine choice indeed. My good people, your attention please. Behold the wonder of transcendent beauty. Hey! Oh! Now it's multi-colours. Okay, so... That was me, did it? Oh, was that you? Oh, I thought it was me. So hang on a minute. That means that when I activate the fireworks machine, everyone in the area gets to see it, yeah? Yep. Okay, hang on. Which one did you just do then? I did the bottom one there. All right, the Azamas candle. Okay, I'm going to try, uh, let's see, a blue spinner. Let's see what that one looks like. Zoom right out here. And looks like it's about to take off. Oh! Okay, I for some reason I can't pan up to see what happens up above in the sky. Does it explode up there, Pico, like real fireworks? Yeah, if you want to take a step back, I can launch a few for you if you want. Yes, please. Hang on. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Yes, please. Let's have a look at this. All right, let us know. Which one are you going to let off? I'll do the bottom one again because it's the most uh, impressive one. All right, sounds good. Go for it. This is fantastic. So this is never here, of course, except for this event, I'm guessing. And it's great that it's free as well. It means I can sit here all day letting off fireworks. Sounds like bliss to me. There we go. It's off and up it goes. Oh, oh my lord. Okay, it's like the 4th of July. That is awesome. Okay, hang on. There's one more. I want to do one more. I saw there was another one. One more color. Got to be a completionist when it comes to fireworks. Here we go. Try my hand at the green comet. Here we go. Set that off. Let's see if I can run back in time. There we go. Hopefully we'll see it go up. And there it is. And of course, green suits Gridania just perfectly. That is fantastic. All right. That is nice. So obviously this is part of the Moonfire Fair. Now, Pico, I don't suppose you happen to know, like, what's the law for all of this? Like, is there any kind of backstory as to why we're having this summer event? Um, there is a backstory, and I don't know it off by heart, but the NPCs do give you a wall of text to read if you're interested. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. That's a very good point. And of course, I'm guessing that it's coinciding with, well, let's face it, it's winter time here, the heart of winter in Australia. Australia. And by the way, speaking of Australians, I think I saw little watermelons running around before, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for them. But Janet, are you there on voice chat? I sure am. And I'm guessing that watermelons is around here somewhere, right? We can't we can't go too far without seeing you. Are you in the area somewhere? I am. All right, we're going to have to hunt for you a bit later on. But how's the weather up there for you? Because here, like I say, it's definitely in the middle of winter, which is a strange time for us to have a summer event. But of course, over in the northern hemisphere, it will be the height of summer. How's the weather up where you are? It's pretty cold. <laughs> Yeah, same here. It's been absolutely freezing all week. So it's awesome when MMOs have these summer events. And of course, Final Fantasy XIV isn't the only one to have a summer event, but it makes me feel all toasty and warm, so I love it. Well, Pico, that was great. Thank you very much for showing us that. And I'm guessing that what you're wearing is all part of this. And yeah, what's... Is that a Moogle belt? I'm looking behind you there. Is that a Moogle on your belt? Yeah, it seems to be a part of the design. That is very cool. And you're going to basically guarantee me that by the end of this event, I'm going to have my own new outfit as as well right yep all right i'm gonna hold you to that one all right so pico that's the fireworks but i can see if we look around here yeah there's a few things that are unfamiliar to me like there's some crazy looking balloon over there there's like a, a stall over there there's a few npcs i haven't seen before where do we need to go next um we can come stand next to cat and i'm sure she'll love to explain oh hey katella good to oh hang on a minute katella katella can you turn around just for one moment please and can you tell me if you're seeing what i'm seeing can you see what's going on behind you here <laughs> i think i do that <laughs> jenna what, what have you done? What is... Uh, there you go. Hello, you mischievous little person. What was that that you were standing in? Do you actually know? That's a good question. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I, I knew we wouldn't be able to go two feet without finding you. Trust you to be standing in the middle of that. Good to see you. And I see that you're also wearing one of these... Oh, what's it called again? You cut it. You cut it, that's right. And there's the creepy laugh. Oh, no, couldn't last five minutes without the creepy Jenna mm. laugh. Oh, God, that is terrible. She's nodding away there. All right, so Katel, thank you very much by the way for showing us the fireworks there Pico Catella it looks like we're being handed over to you here I'm standing here in front of the fair chaperone Judy so what is this all about why are we over here this is the NPC that actually gives you the quest for the Moonfire Festival oh okay so I need to speak with her then I'm guessing yep 
All right, let's have a chat. And by the way, before I do have a chat to her, you can see on her counter, she's got those little balls as well. Kind of like the one that our lovely watermelons was hiding in. Do you know what they are? Are they candles or something? I kind of think they might be fireworks. Oh, of course, because it's a summer event. That makes total sense. All right, let's have a chat to Fair Chaperone Jude, or Judy, and see what she's got to say. Here we go. Well met, adventurer. I take it you've come to join the mirth and merriment of the Moonfire Fair, the sultriest of all Eorzean festivals. The sultriest? That's an interesting word. You need but sign your name here. Oh, oh, do we get a cutscene? Oh, no, we don't. Congratulations, Seraphis Thrawen. You are now a sworn cascadier, bound unto death to uphold the cause of our noble organization. Hmm, what of the promised mirth and merriment, you ask? Yeah, what about that? Oh, you will forgive me, but the whole event is an elaborate ruse. What? We would not be able to recruit members for our... Wait a minute. For our suicide squad? Catella, am I reading the right quest? You are. Really? I, I just want to repeat that. Because this doesn't sound... Everyone's nodding here. Look at the... Pico's nodding. Oh, will you forgive me? But the whole event is an elaborate ruse. Well, even Watermelons is agreeing with us there. We would not be able to recruit members for our suicide squad otherwise, but I digress. Okay, I'm getting a little worried about this one. The fact of the matter... <laughs> is that you are now a member of the Cascadeers, an organisation formed at the behest of the Adventurers Guild to tackle the Bombard Menace. Alright, so is this going to be a very, very long wall of text, Pico? It will be, yeah. Alright, so maybe what we'll do is we'll skip through this and, again, folks, if you'd like to see it, then just pause the YouTube video and I'm sure you'll be able to read this. It's a nice big font there. And hopefully we'll get a summary at the end. So, Catella, you've been through all this before? I have. Okay, alright, and obviously because you've got your flash outfit here, here we go. Bombard Backlash. Your attempt to join the festivities of Moonfire Fair has taken an unexpected turn. I'll say you have unwittingly sworn yourself to the service of the Cascadeers, a suicide squad established by the Adventurers Guild to deal with the Bombard Menace. I do not like this one bit. Duty requires that you report to a senior officer posted at a nearby hamlet, under whose direction you must safely dispose of the enemy before delivering it ashes to the devious captain this sounds very grim and nothing like a summer event if you ask me for the duration of the event the prizes offered by the fair chaperones can be obtained any number of times even by those who have completed the quest objective okay well i'm begrudgingly going to accept this there we go excellent i knew you would not break your solemn vow now as we have precious little time, I shall brief you forthwith regarding the specifics of the mission. Now, again, Catella, am I going to be able to skip through this and get a summary at the end? I believe so. All right, so let's just quickly flick through all of that. And I obtain a Ladies Yukata Red Bombard Backlash accepted. Oh, dear. Can you believe it? I didn't get a summary, but Bombard Backlash has been updated in my journal. Let's quickly go over there and check it out. Where is it? There it is, Bombard Backlash. Let's see what it's got to say. Duty requires that we report to a senior officer. Okay, so that hasn't changed. Interesting. Now, here we go. Catella, I noticed that the most important thing there that happened was something went into my inventory. I presume I open up my inventory, yeah? Yep, go ahead and open it up. Let's have a look. And, okay, I'm going to sort by condition, by spirit bond, by off, oh gosh, gear first. There we go. All right, so what is the name of this thing that I'm looking for? Should be the ladies, Yukata. Oh man, I have so many things in my inventory. Oh, here we go. Here's all of the clothes. Ooh. It's likely going to be the very last one on your list. Ah, there it is. You're absolutely right. There we go. Ladies, Yukata, red. So did I get this for free? Like no money changed hands then, did it? That's right. All right, so, okay, right. Well, I'm going to go to my gear then. So I went to my inventory. Let's go to my gear screen. And what slot is it? Is it a chest item? Uh, the body. Uh-huh. Body, yep. Okay, there we go. Click on body. And let's have a look here. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. Ladies, you cut a red. Oh, look at nice. me. Don't I look flash? Awesome. Uh, I see why everyone's wearing no pants now. Hey, let me get rid of these cotton kicks. You'll actually have a pair of pants or a pair of shorts that came too. So oh, if you go really? and try, yep, go to your pants and click on there and it should be, there should be a pair of black ones, I believe. Uh, oh, ladies knickers, black. Is that the one? I think so. Hey, yep. let's try these. Good lord. 
All right, not that it makes much of a difference because they're very short, but there yeah. they are. All right, all done. I am very happy about it. Okay, now I look just as flash as the rest of you guys. So this is already an awesome event. We've had fireworks and I've got myself, mm -hmm. oh, hang on, let me use my new macro. Oh, why can't I use a macro? Get rid of the menu, there we go. And let's see, there we go. Yay, awesome. This is going very well so far. I'm not sure about that suicide part, but anyway. All right, so let's see. We've checked out the fireworks. I've picked up a quest. Now, they've still got an exclamation mark over their head, Catella. Do I have to talk to them again and pick up yet another quest? No, what's going to happen is there's actually some different yukatas that you can get. There's three different sets. And so for the females, it's red, blue, and black. Nice. And so we'll get you a few pairs here. Um, but when you get your ash from the event, you'll come back here and talk to this lady here and you can trade in the ash for the items. Oh, so I can't actually get the other colors just yet. I have to do the quests first. Right, you have to do the event first. Ah, okay, all right. So guessing that that's what's going to happen. And by the way, I'm looking behind us there, Catella and Sir Watermelons. I can see something big and red in the sky. Is that Delamund? Yeah, it's kind of up to our, mm -hmm. no, to the right of the screen. It looks like one of the trees is on fire. You know, maybe it's me mm -hmm. seeing things, but I'm pretty sure there's a big glowy red ball in the sky. That is getting ever ever closer all right so that's two things the fireworks i've got my dress i'm happy we've got ourselves a quest i think we can move on because i can see another fire maker estain over there probably need to wander over there i can see blind rage over there but hang on a minute can tell firstly what is this balloon thing here it looks like a balloon with a basket strung underneath does that there does that serve any purpose yeah it's just decorations i think it's just full of surprises <laughs> Well, full of surprises yes, is app. That's right there. Oh, you know what? I was looking in there and I'm like, I'm sure I can see Mini Ninja in there. And I'm thinking, no, surely not. Hello, Mini Ninja. Trust you to be leaping out from behind the bushes. How are you today? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> you know what? We could only see the very tip of your feather in there. What was it like in there? Were you playing in the balls? Yes. It's Go like on. my own personal ball pit from, uh, from oh, what is that place? Like McDonald's or uh, heaps of places have this. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. There we go. Look at that. We've got Mini Ninja and Sir Water. Do you know what? I can hardly see you. Are you able to can you jump up and down? Can we see the tip? Oh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> Just see the top of your head. You are so teeny tiny. Oh, dear. Typical. These two there playing in the balls. Right. And can tell as well. <laughs> Good stuff. We'll leave you alone to play with your balls over there. And we're going to wander over to Blind Rage. Hey, hey, hey Blind. Seraphis, this is yep. a family rated show. It is a family rated show we know this and blind rage let's hope you're not playing with your balls over here you are talking with fire maker <laughs> esteem i would say what's this person got to do with the price of fish like they're not normally standing here are they blind rage is this specifically for the festival yes yeah, for the festival all right so what are they all about why are we here well if you talk to her then you can buy stuff from her oh okay you don't have to ask me twice let's have a chat here we go fire maker esteem welcome one and welcome all Oh, buy and sell. Okay, buy items. Oh, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Here we go. Let's see what comes up. Oh, hang on a minute. Storm Tracer, Flame Tracer, Serpent Tracer. Hang on. What are Tracer's Blind Rage? Bees. Oh, my God. What? You, are you saying I can actually buy my own fireworks? Yes, sir. And sparklers, too. Oh, okay. Hang on. Just be one moment, guys. I'm just going to buy, you know, just one of everything here because I want to see them all. Is there, Are these... Am I reading this right? They're only costing 10 gil per item? That's right. Yep. Oh. You can buy up to 99 of them. Oh, my... Okay, I think I might just uh, spend the rest of the episode here, folks. Okay, now... I think we've done this before, but it's been such a long time. Blind Rage, I've now bought a whole bunch. How do I equip them, and how do I use one? you got to go into your bag, buy uh, your, your Link Shell Pearl. Oh, yep, there we go. There we are. Open interface for using items. Oh, if I scroll down, will it be in here somewhere? Look. It should be. Oh, should it should be one, the top one. Yep, no, there it is. Okay, Lemensian, Gridanian, or Uldan. Oh, I think it's going to... Oh, look at this. Mini and Sir Watermelons, behave in the cheap seats back there, please. Uh, <laughs> okay, he started it. He started it. Here we go. A Gridanian Sparkler. Let's give this a go. I love these things. Oh, wait a... What? Oh, there it is. It's in my hand. Oh, is this the one where you can go wave as well and it goes bonkers? Hang on. Uh-huh. Yes! Uh, okay. So, guys, I'll see you in about 40 minutes. I'm just going to work my way through this and use all the sparklers lots. 
Oh, that is awesome. Okay, thank you very much, Blind Rage. That is great. And what did you say? There's a limit of 99 of each of them, is there? Yeah, you can buy a stack of 99. All right, that is awesome. So there you go, folks. Let's have a bit of a recap here. We are in Grudania. We've got the fireworks machine over there. Thank you, Pico. Over here, we've got the, well, we've got the quest giver, I guess. And that's where you're going to get your first outfit, like the rest of us. And by the way, Pico, Blind, and Sir Watermelons, is what you're wearing. Is that basically the male version of what I've got? So, you know, you haven't done anything special. You've just picked it up and it looks different to mine? I haven't, so it looks probably the same. It yeah, looks different. Okay. Cool. It's nice that there's a male version and a female version. That's awesome. And of course, we've gone along here. And apart from the fact that we've had watermelons and mini hiding in various types of balls, we've also got our fireworks vendor here. So this is great. Now, by the way, Catella, is this going to be the same in all zones or is it only Grudania? No, it's in all zones. Okay, so I'm presuming that it's in prominent places in Uldar and Limsa Liminza as well, yeah? Can't miss it. Right. Yeah, it's usually right kind of around where the first camp is. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Fair. Here, there. All right, so speaking of camps, I mean, I now have a quest in my log, and I'm just going to go and pull it up one more time. Here we are, Bombard Backlash, and all it's saying is that I have to report to an officer posted at a nearby hamlet. So it doesn't appear to be yeah, getting any other queues. That's actually a typo. It's not at the hamlet. That last year, I don't know if you remember, but the event, the summer event last year was over at the hamlet. Um, oh, okay. Okay, so so that's kind of a mess up. up. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So for the uninitiated, i.e. me, where do I go? How do we know where to go? We're actually going to head out uh, towards Bent Branch, the first camp of the town. But before we go, we need to teach you Learn something that's going to be very important for this quest. Oh, okay. I'm all ears. Teach me, teach me. All right. Well, Kat and Sir Watermelons are going to demonstrate this with us. Oh, really? Oh, hang or on, with let me. me. Let me uh, just move out of the way. It sounds like there's going to be a physical demonstration here. Uh-oh, there's a countdown, folks. That can only mean bad things when it comes to these three. <gasps> I think that that was pretty much the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That was awesome. Can you please... And by the way, I wasn't talking to you, Blind Ray. You're too big to do stuff like that. Can I, I see it again? Well, yeah. Actually. Why don't you go stand behind these three? Can we see that again, please? Because that was just absolutely awesome. I love it. We'll cheer you on. Go on. Let's see it again. This looks to me, if I can... I'm going to take a guess. I'm guessing that there's some kind of special dance for this event, but we'll find out in a second. Look at this. Here they go again. Oh, guys, that was absolutely awesome. Oh, do you know what? I haven't got an emote for clap. Of all my emotes, I didn't put a clap on. There we go. Yay, well done, guys. Okay, come on, let the cat out of the bag. How are you guys doing that, and how can I do it? It's very simple. All you have to do is type slash fire dance. Oh, wow, so it literally is a specific dance for the festival. Here, let me stand next to you, Minnie, if you don't mind. I'm going to dance with Minnie. Here we are, we look at her. So what was that again? It was slash fire dance. Slash fire dance. All right, hang on. Let's do this one more time. Want to do a we... countdown? Yeah, go on. I want to become part of the dance troupe this time. Fire dance. Here we go. And you've got a sparkler as well. Oh, look at us go. Ah, blind, you're too big. <laughs> it stood on mini. <laughs> and your way. My aim was true then. <laughs> <laughs> That is awesome! That is great! So hang on a minute, is this an emote or a dance that everybody gets Mini Ninja or do you have to actually pick up the quest to get it? I think everybody gets it even before the quest, but it's only going to be lasting for the festival. Once the festival is over, you will not be able to dance like this anymore. Aww. Oh no, that's awful! Alright, well that's great. So let's have a recap again folks, this is amazing. We have checked out the fireworks machine, we've gone and picked up a quest, we've got ourselves a new, well some new garbs some new gear we've gone and seen the fireworks vendor and we've got ourselves a new dance surely it can't get any better than that so Catella how do we know where we need to go now comes the serious part the serious part this hasn't got anything to do with the suicide squad has it a little 
Oh no! Okay, go on. Tell us what we oh. have to do. Okay, we're gonna head out. We're gonna head outside of town here, and uh, and once you get out there, probably a picture is worth a thousand words. So it's probably easier just to show you rather than tell you. All right, sounds to me like it's time to head out. So, Catella, what's the best way of getting out to where we need to go then? Uh, you know what? You just got your chocobo, so let's go talk to the chocobo guy. Oh, okay. So, yeah, because I can't actually, I can't mount mine here. Let's try this. What happens if I? You cannot call Samuel here. Poor Samuel. Oh man. So hang on. So anybody can use this chocobo over here, right? Yeah. Once you get your chocobo, you can come and summon your own personal chocobo from him. Oh, cool. Now, does it cost money though? Nope. Oh, so that's the difference between having your own chocobo and not having one yet. If yep. you rent, if you rent one, then it costs money. But if you have your own, you can just call it from him. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, well, let's have a chat with him. And by the way, there's Westet. Oh, Westet. Does Westet join us on voice chat? Yeah, I'm here. Just got home. Hey there, how's it going? I'm going to come over and say hello to you because you've got an outfit on that is actually reminding me of one of my most favorite games in the entire universe, which is a game, well, it's from the old PlayStation 2, and it was a game called Ico. I-C-O. West, don't suppose you know the game I'm talking about? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> oh, you don't. Does anyone else? Anyone else know Ico? I do! Yeah, um, absolutely. I yep. do. Yeah. How good is it? That is a really iconic game. And you know what, West, you actually look like one of the characters in it. Like, spitting image. It's amazing. Just had to say that. Great looking outfit you got on there. Okay, let's have a chat to Frudham here, who, of course, is our friendly Chocobo vendor. And let's see what he's got to say. 12, yes, thank you very much. I just want a Chocobo. Summon your Chocobo. Oh, hey, there's something else in here. Hmm, now, Catella, are you hiding yeah. something? from me view chocobo barding what is all that about you can actually buy barding for your chocobo so kind of like gear for your chocobo yeah. i can actually give you a nice example because i just upgraded my chocobo's barding really yeah, he was showing us today okay all right so hang on what, what do i do do i click on view chocobo barding very well i'll show you all the barding there is to show i should mention beforehand however that these fine wares can only be purchased oh with serpent seals over at the Adder's Nest. Oh, so hang on, I've got a menu now, a suit of Gridanian half barding. Let's click on that. Oh, I see. So the reins and everything have turned green. Hang on, suit of Gridanian barding. Whoa. And crested barding. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm guessing then, Mini Ninja, if you've recently bought some stuff, are these things really hard to get? Like, I bet you they're very expensive, yeah? They're, uh, well, they're not that expensive. They cost seals. Um, the best barding costs about 4,000 seals, but if you do plenty of caravans and stuff, it'll come fast. It's just, I wouldn't recommend spending it on barding just yet, if you actually do cross that border. <laughs> yeah, it looks but. very tempting though, because that's an amazing looking armor that the chocobo's wearing there. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah, holding out as long as I did was extremely hard. I bet it was, I bet it was indeed. Alright, that's something to look forward to as well. Alright, so we've got a choice here, summon your chocobo, let's do that. Mount Samuel, and <laughs> exit the city. Yes, that sounds like something we can do. There we go. And yes, I suppose you'd rather ride your own steed, he says. You can dismount your steed by using the chocobo icon. There we go. Oh, yes, and Seraphis. Uh, I forgot. Nikos wanted to say hello, but he was very tired and he had to go to bed. Sorry to hear that, Nikos. And there we are. By the way, good night, Nikos. And there we are racing along. Oh, and it even shows me in my new gear. That is awesome. So, tell that's actually just going to deliver us out the front gate, is it? That's right. And here we go, outside the front. All right, and yes, I'm on my choke. Oh, that's right, I forgot you could walk as well. Excellent. All right, so it looks to me like we've got some of the Distant World members out here. And there's Pico, man. Pico, hang on a minute. You stop right there. Have you got a whole bunch of barding? Is that what... Yes, you have, haven't you? Yep, I've got. I've had this for a while, actually. But I think Mini has a, a slightly different one. All right, yep, there's, we, there's Mini. it's different according to... Um, your grand uh, company. Yep, grand company. All right, hang on. If I dismount, I can get back on. So let's dismount quickly, just so we can get down to your level there, Mini. Let's have a look. <laughs> we'll zoom right in, and wow. Okay, that is very cool. So yeah, you're obviously got the red 
because you're the maelstrom, right? Yep, I'm a pirate. Yeah, look at this. Let's zoom right in. Look, you've got a little icon on the end of your nose there. So hang on, is this the most expensive one? Yes. Wow, congratulations. That is, yeah, that really does look awesome, I've got to say. Wow, okay, now I know what I'm going to aim for. All right, let's get back on our choke Fortunately, boat. yours is going to look like Pico's, not like mine. All right, very cool, very cool. Did not know about that. All right, so where are we headed, Catella? I'm going to be following you and Pico, I think. Yep, just follow us. All righty. Hey there, watermelons. On your teeny tiny bird. Have you got any barding, by the way, Jenna? This is a rental, actually. Oh, okay. And listen to that, folks. We've got the fantastic chocobo music, as always. Absolutely love it. I love the fact that it gets louder when you're running. It's just a great little touch. Oh, and look at what we have here. We've got a whole bunch more of the members of Distant World. Hello, Distant World. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hi. Oh, good Lord. Look at this. We've got, oh, hello, EP, doing the dance, the summer dance there, and you've got your summer event gear on. Good to see you there. Tanya Waterstrike as well, who, of course, is Stalin. Good to see you. We've got Mono there as well. In fact, I think a lot of these folk are joining us on voice chat. Starlin, are you there? I'm here. Hey there, how's it going? Now, what are you wearing today? That's something a bit different. Uh, I feel kind of out of place right now. <laughs> well, do you know what? Out of all of us, you've probably got the most sensible clothes on because it's raining. And here we all are in our summer gear, but you've got sense. You've got a hood and a jacket, and I'd say you're nice and toasty warm. Uh -huh. Good to see you. Mono-chan, hello to you. Hello. Now, what are you wearing? And how? So how come your one's blue, not red? I seem to be the only one who digs the blue. It matches my color. Well, it does. It definitely does. But how did you get a blue one? Is that from what Catella was telling us before about being able to buy different colors from that vendor? Yeah, once you gain enough ash pinches, then you'll be able to pick up all the colors. There's three different ones. Yeah, okay. So everyone's talking about these ash pinches. And of course, at this point in the game, I have absolutely no idea what everyone's talking about. But Catella, I can see what you mean yep. out the front here. What on earth is that going on out in the field there? It looks like there's balloons and... Yeah, what's happening? We have some bombs that are trying to destroy our pretty balloons over here. What? Hey, oh, hang on. Something just came up and said, duty commence, and there's a bombard. Okay, what do we have to do? Do we have to target this thing and attack it, or what's what's the go? You're going to dance at it. We're, we're what? Target and dance. You are kidding me. They're, they're, they're dying in a fortifier dance. What? So, okay, we are literally killing enemies with our dance. Yep. <laughs> Um, how would we know to, and by the way, hello Kyle, I can see you there in the, in the cauldron, big hello to them. Oh, there we are, hello. Okay, how does that work? Because did I miss something in the quest text then? Is that what I skipped over? Like, how do you know to dance at it? There's actually uh, this uh, person right here, this Cascadia cadet, yeah. and if you talk to them, I believe they'll tell you about fire dance. All right, let's have a chat with them, just so you guys watching along from home know exactly what to do. Let's have a chat. Greetings, fellow Cascadia, and welcome to the front line of the counter bombard effort. You've arrived at a most opportune time, as it happens, I've only just this moment located a bombard and have need of extra hands. Pray, listen well. Listen to the explanation. Well, yes, let's have a listen to that. They've been placing decoy balloons with which to lure the bombards. Your role in this heated affair is to make your way to the decoys and engage any bombards that draw near. Banish these restless creatures using the Dance of Fire, a gift from the Mystic East. Its unique sequence of movements agitates the very being of a bombard until the beast's tenuous grip on this plane is lost. Bombards can be destroyed by performing the fire dance emote. Perform it type slash fire dance. Unfortunately, we only possess a limited supply of decoy balloons, so you must be sure to attend to all of our volatile visitors while we still have the means to lure them. Without the decoys, only the 12 know where the bombards will float off to next. Okay, so it says here, to complete the event, all Bombards must be destroyed with at least one decoy balloon remaining. Okay. Successfully performing the fire dance emote on a bombard during the event will entitle you to a reward from the Cascadeers. Ah! A successful use of the fire dance emote will be accompanied by an effect encompassing both the dancer and the bombard. And if 
Oh, I see. It's going to be unsuccessful if used directly after this effect has been displayed. Pay careful attention to your target and pick the right time to perform the emote. Oh boy, that sounds like a whole bunch of instructions to me. All right, so blind rage. Are you able to explain that to me in plain English? What do we have to be careful of then? So it's obviously not as simple as me just targeting them and typing slash fire dance. Is that right? You, tar you target the bombs and then you just do slash fire dance and it dances and then you don't want the bomb to blow up. Okay, all right, let's try this. Well, how many does it take to kill one? Like, is it just one person doing a fire dance? Can tell or now, there are two two different types. There are the kings who take three hits and the normal ones who take one hit. Oh, I see. There's a bombard king right there. We'll do a fire dance on him. There we go. Oh, I see. We can see his health bar going down slowly. And there it is. All right, so... All right, so we use the fire dance to kill them. That's very cool. Katella, what, how do we know when we get an ash or whatever it is that we need? At the very end, it'll say duty failed or duty successful and uh, or complete or something. And then you know to go talk to that NPC again and she'll give you the ash. You also have to be close enough to her. Like, I learned that when you're standing on the outside, you actually won't get those messages. But um. it's pretty easy to find out when it's over. Is They'll throw a whole bunch of bomb kings at you. And then once the bomb kings are all down, then it's pretty much over. I see. The amount of ash is also determined by the how many balloons there are still standing. Oh, I see. Yes, of course, because we're trying to protect these balloons at the end of the day, aren't we? Yes. You get 30 when all of four are st uh, still standing, uh, 10 when 3, uh, 6 when 2, and 1 when 1. All right, let's do a fire dance. There we go. Interesting. Oh, Merrick. Hello, Merrick. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Just killing a bunch of fire bombs. There we go. So yeah, now how long does this actually last for, generally speaking? Uh, about five minutes or so. Alright, so I'm having trouble here. Let's see, slash fire dance. Are you targeting it? Yeah. Do you know what I think I need to do? I think I need to put it on a macro. I thought I did put one there before. It's yeah. better if you do it on a macro, and also if somebody else is doing it already, if they're in the middle of it, you you either get a, uh, uh, a failure or it just won't work at all. Oh, I see. That could have been what's happening. All right. So, look, I've already been tutored by Catella on macros, but why don't you take us through an example, especially in this case, with the fire dance. How will I add a fire dance macro to my little ensemble here? Okay, first thing you want to go into your configuration, go into the menu and then go into configuration and then go to macros. Macros, oh yes, this is looking familiar, yep. Then you can choose either control or alt. I Personally, I have mine on control one. Yep, same here, radio. Okay, so uh, when you choose it, you put a name down, whatever you want to call it. I just called mine fire dance. Okay, let's see, fire dance. Here we go, yep. Oh, and this is the part that I can choose an icon, isn't it? Oh, and there's one. There's a fire one. Excellent. Okay, I've got a name and an icon. Now what? And then on the next line, you want to type forward slash fire dance. Here we go, and I can close that window now, can't I? Then you can close the window. All right. And now when you target one of the one of the uh, the bombards, you just hit Control F1. And Butcher's trying to sing them to death, but I don't think it's working. Uh, oh, no. Was that Butcher running around? I thought I... You know what? I thought that was a bad dream. But no, there he is. Here he comes. Oh, dear. Typical. You need to come out in... A, you know what? You scared the rain away there, I think, Butcher. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even the rain is scared of your look. You know what? Actually, it's good to have you here because maybe you'll scare away these bombards. There we go. All right, I'm doing very well now that I've got a macro. That's a great idea. Much better. Okay, so you'll know that you hit it when you kind of like explode in a fireball. Ah, okay, right. So that's your visual feedback, if you like. Right. And that again, is... the fast ones, which are the lighter brown ones, take only one hit, but the darker ones, the blacker ones, take three hits. And you do not have to let the dance complete all the way before you start the next one. I would ah. probably wait like maybe two or three seconds before you start the next one. Right, I see. I was going to ask you that actually. Do we have to wait for the entire animation to occur? All right, so this is cool. This is great. Let's grab this one. And yes, definitely the macro makes a huge difference. So basically when they when that big blast of fire comes off one, it means that someone else has already attacked that one. Correct. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, Pico, I can see you running around here. So how many times have you done this event, Pico? Just a few times. Um, I haven't actually completed this one yet. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully you'll be able to complete it with us here today. The rest of the Distant World Link Shell, of course. Maple Butterworth, I can see them there. Hi, Maple. And who else we got? Oh, yeah, so Mono. See you in your blue outfit. You must have done this a fair few times if you've been able to get yourself a different colour outfit, right? Um, I've basically completed the whole thing. I'm just here for fun yeah, and excellent. support. Absolutely. Thank you very much, and that's why we love playing this. Heater Fire Charmer. Hey there, Heater. How's it going? Hi. There. Good to see you. And by the way, I must say, while we're waiting, oh, hang on, there we go. Duty complete. Yeah. Did that happen for everybody or just me? Uh, uh, that that happened enough. for everybody, and we did not lose any of the original balloons, so you'll get so 20 you'll get... of the bomb ash. You need to come talk to the NPC. Oh, awesome. Can tell that is great news. Okay, so hang on. Where will I see the ash? Will it appear anywhere, or do I not have to worry about it? Like, how do I know how many I've got? It will be placed it'll in say. your infantry. Oh. And it'll tell you when you're in the chat. They'll say, you've obtained 20 pinches of Bombard Ash. You got, you got to talk to the NPC first, though. Oh, oh, this one here? Yep, the one in green. The green yeah. name. Amazing. Not a single decoy balloon was lost. Here, take this ash and deliver it to our captain in the city. Woohoo! All right, that is... Oh, there we go. You're right. You obtained 20 pinches of Bombard Ash. That definitely deserves a cheer. Yay, us. All right, this is awesome. Now, hang on. Before we go any further, I do want to say hello to Heater again. But before we do, could tell her, like, how long in between the... I don't know what they're called. The waves of events, I guess. Uh, it's just a few minutes. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could just stay here and do this for like an hour if I like. Yeah, if you if you wanted to, yeah. Okay, so can you remind us again, how much is stuff on the shop? Like, I've got 20 pinches of ash. Is that going to be able to buy me anything? Oh, look at that, it's commenced already. The first yeah. one is um, the blue one that you saw Mono wearing, and yeah. that one costs 30. Oh, okay. And then there's a black one as well for the females, and that one costs 50. But there's also shorts that you can buy, and there's for each set, and there's also um, sandals. Oh, okay. All right, I got a funny feeling I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon here, which could be bad. Wing on Ravencroft, by the way, or Revencroft, is, wow, that is very cool. They were doing the dance with their, looked like they had a, like a pike or something like that. It actually looked very awesome. I don't know if Wing Odd can hear us, but if you can, if you can do that dance again, that would be awesome because it looked amazing with the weapon you've got on. And while we wait for that, Heater Fire Charmer, yes, hello to you. Now, you've obviously got the black outfit on there. Very nice. Oh, uh, yes. So that was the one I think Catella said that cost, what, 50, 50 ash? Is that right? That's right. Uh, probably. To get all That's the awesome. sets, you'll have a total of 100 165 ashes needed if you oh, want to get all of them. Thank you. Thank you. That was going to be my next question. How much do we need? Well, do you know what, folks? What I think we might do, seeing as we've got the whole gang here, and look, Jenna's back on Jenna. You've got a black one as well, mate. Gee, you've been busy out here. Mm, every character of mine has every Yukata. Really? Wow. That's yep. That is really, really very With cool. With a little help. With a little help from our friends, of course, and I'd imagine from the Distant World family we've got going on here. Well, do you know what, folks? What we might do is go and do some of this hunting behind the scenes. Might take a quick break, and we'll come back when I've got a few more ashes, and we'll go see what I can spend them on. We'll be right back. All right, here we are, folks. We've survived a few more waves, as you can see around us, of the Bombard Invasion. And we've got ourselves some more ashes. Also cheating a little bit because Jenna traded me a couple. Thank you very much for those, Jenna. Appreciate that. No problem. And I think, Lord, you were wanting to trade me some as well, yeah? Yep. Thank you very much for that. Let's do that. So remind everybody how we actually trade because it's been such a long time since we've done a trade on camera. So in fact, if I wanted to initiate a trade with you, Lord, how would I do it? Uh, open up your main menu. Okay, there we go. Main menu. Done. And if you got me targeted, just the second option down, so just say trade. Oh, there we are in the interaction menu. Of course, I keep forgetting about that handy dandy little menu up the top there we go hitting trade and i'm from memory it takes there we go it takes a few seconds for it to come up all right so obviously you've got a trade window come up on your screen now as well yeah yep right, cool so this is great so you're going to give me a couple of ash and that means well i've got 20 myself uh let's see jenna Thank you, kindly gave me 20 as well, so that means 40, and I think Catella, you said that the black outfit was, was it 50? 50, uh-huh. 50, so Lord, if you can give us 10, I will be forever in your debt, we can go and buy ourselves an awesome, awesome black outfit, oh, I can't wait, it's going to be very exciting. Have you done this a lot, by the way, Lord? Yeah, I've finished this event too. 
Oh, okay. Oh, cool. So, I'll give you a few more, because uh, I don't need these anyway. Whoa, wait a minute. That... Now, listen, you. Just because you're wearing leopard skin <laughs> boots there, that is not a few. That's probably the maximum anyone And Oh, my Lord. Mini Ninja. Mini Ninja, what are you doing? What? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, again, folks, hide your eyes, please. If all your screens crack, we blame a mini... Oh, and I can hear... <laughs> I can hear another laugh in the background. That sounded like you, Jenna, but I know it wasn't. That is ridiculous. Lord Plague, are you sure? Yes, take them. Oh, that is nice. Guys and gals, that is 99 ashes. 99 ashes, I can't believe it. Thank you so very much. You know what? It's going to go to a good cause, because what that means is we'll be able to go straight to the NPC and do some epic shopping. Epic shopping, and it means that you guys will get to see all of the different outfits. So, big thank you to Lord Play. And look at this, we've got Joey Magic handler also attempting to trade with us goodness me don't tell me we've got some more ashes coming in let's have a look who's where's joey there they are over in the background there while we wait for that trade to occur do you know what lord plague we were having a chat with pico man earlier on and he was telling us that i need to have a word with you about some kind of weapon that you've got do you know what he's talking about yes that would be the uh, the relic weapons hang on a minute hang on explain to us what is a relic weapon uh, it's kind of like the high-end weapons in the game you get. They take a little time playing about to get them. All right, something tells me you're being a little bit humble about this. I'd imagine, from what Pico said, these are about as good as you can get at the moment. And quickly, quickly, we've got, there we go, 23 ashes. And that is very kind of you. Thank you very much there from, who was that? Joey Magic Handler, I think. We'll accept those. And, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you sneak. No, how do I? Oh, Joey Magic Handler. Do you know what this person did? They snuck in a hundred thousand gil right at the last minute after I'd hit accept. That is mean and very generous all at the same time. <laughs> Let's give them a bow. And oh, that is amazing. Joey's not on voice chat, I don't think. Catella, can you see a Joey in chat? I don't think so. I don't think it's he's on voice chat. No, oh dear. Oh, someone needs to convey my thanks to them because that was, number one, that was very sneaky, and number two, very, very generous. Thank you very much, Joey Magic Handler, if you're watching this episode. Shame on you, but thank you very much. What a sneak. Gosh, stuck in that money at the last minute there. What do you reckon about that, Mini? Is that something you'd do? Something cheeky like that? Maybe. Maybe. Um. Look at, look, oh God, you look at, you've got two white spots on your uh. butt. Good <laughs> Lord. That's terrible. Now, back to you, Lord Plague. Let's try and take the attention of Mini Ninja's waggling butt there. So you've got these relic <laughs> weapons. So in all honesty, like, how long did it take you to get these? Uh, quite a while. <laughs> oh, you're being modest again, I reckon. So what, more than a week? Yeah, overall, start to finish, probably a couple of months. Oh, <gasps> a couple of months. Oh my, okay, so is that what you've got on at the moment, by the way? Is that them? Yeah. Oh, can you present arms so we can have a look at these? Because this is going to be pretty epic, I'd imagine. Let's zoom right in there sure. and have a look. Go on. Unsheathe your weapons. Oh my god! That isn't... Okay, don't move, don't move, because we want to zoom right in here. Are they actually lion's heads that move? Seriously, yeah. that is amazing. Oh my god, Mini Ninja, can you see this? Yes, that is this relic weapon. Oh, are you jealous? A little bit. Just a little bit. Isn't <laughs> what about you, Catella? Have you ever seen anything like this before? I haven't got to see that one yet. I have seen the bow, which I'm very jealous and I really want to get someday. Oh man, this is incredible. Wow. And Heater, you're standing next to us, by the way. I don't suppose you've got any relic weapons. Uh, no, I don't. Though I'm jealous of this hand-to-hand uh, uh, -hand weapon. That is... Oh, look at that. He's having a dance. Lord, congratulations, my friend. That is amazing, and obviously a lot of hard work. I, I dare say there's not many people around that have these, yeah? Yeah, um, there's a few people. I mean, more more common recently. A lot of people trying to get them. Yeah, sure. But I'd say you're right up there with one of the few first. So congratulations to you. Great to have you in the link shell, by the way. You must be very proud of that. Great thank stuff. you. All right, and again, thank you, everybody, for the trades of Ash and stuff. So, I don't know, where's where's our tour guide? Where's Catella? Can't see you. We've got a sea of people here. I can see Minnie. Of course, Minnie, you stick out like, well... 
like two white things. Like, <laughs> you're one disturbing individual. There's Catella. Okay, so Catella. Two white buns. Are we two white buns? That's exactly what they are. Are we <laughs> able to? There you are. Are we able to go back to do some shopping? Is that okay? Yeah, we can do that. All right. So can I mount up on my chocobo, or do we teleport? What's the best way of getting back there? Uh, let's take the chocobo. chocobo oh, hey. Fun. Let me talk to the NPC real quick here. Oh, did you just get another round? Yep. We just, just got another round. Oh, oh congratulations. I didn't guys. touch it. So she said, uh, let's, uh, she, I didn't get any seals. Oh, didn't you? Or any nope, ash? But ash, yeah. I didn't, but I didn't dance to any of the, uh... No, that, well, you did lots of dancing, that's for sure. But <laughs> serves you right. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this, folks. Of course, as always, we've got all of our members here of the Distant World. It's great to see you all out here, and I certainly wish you all the very best in terms of your ashes. And, by the way, if I've got any left over, I think the only right thing... Well, hang on, actually, that's a good point. Catella... I'm going to spend up on... Yeah, I'm going to spend up... What if I have spare ashes? Like, if I buy all three, ultimately, like I've got the blue, the black, and the red of these outfits, is there anything else you can actually spend the money on, apart from, well, not even fireworks? Is there anything else? They're shorts, and oh, then they're right, sandals. Shorts. That's right, you, you were saying that before. Okay, so maybe we'll be able to buy up all of that. All right, uh, where is Catella? There she is. All right, ready when you are? You ready to go? Also, yep. if you have a gander over at Lord Plague's Chocobo, you'll see the uh, olden Chocobo Barden. Oh, oh, of course. Hang on, where is Lord? I'm panning around, panning around. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Hello. Oh, I'm so in that's front. The, yep, there's the Uldar <laughs> one. Okay, so what color? Oh, that's white. That's very royal looking, isn't it? It's like the blue, white, and gold. Very regal. That's great. So, yeah, you've obviously got the whole set there. And what are you wearing? What is that top you've got on? Oh, it's just one of the uh, Grand Company tops for older. You've really made progress in this game, haven't you? How long have you been playing for? Uh, since release date. Wow. Okay, a lot of work gone into all of that. Congratulations. Okay, so where... I think I lost you again, Catella. Where did you right go? Behind you. Oh, there you are. Okay, cool. All right, come on. Lead the way. Let's go shopping. My favorite pastime. Yay! And again, my thanks to everyone who donated all of the ashes. Really appreciate that. And there's Blind Rage. Blind Rage with your poor, your poor Chocobo I must have very strong legs. <laughs> Steroids. Well, at least she's not on my Chocobo. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Can you imagine that? In fact, this used funny... to be Manny's old one. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because in he WoW... Me. Well, in WoW, they don't scale, so it's quite funny. You'll see a great big... I mean, I guess the equivalent of your race in WoW, Blind Rage, would be a Tauren or something like that, or an Orc. And you see them running around on, like, crazy small mounts. This is ridiculous. Now, yeah. speaking of World of Warcraft, I think we've got a little bit of a surprise for you guys here who have joined us. A little thank you to uh, one of you lucky folk who have come along today. We'll talk about that later. Anyhow, we're going to run on inside. Look at this. We've got the whole... It looks like we've got the whole Link Shell running along. Look at them all behind us. There's Catella. We'll wait for Catella. The little legs. Come on. <laughs> there we are. And we match. We absolutely match. That's great. Now, did you notice, by the way, Catella, I managed to hide my weapon all by myself. Are you proud of me? With a command. Very good. Yeah, I'm learning slowly. And look at this. We've got the sun coming out in the center of Gridania. This is what we love. I'm getting very excited. Mm, am I going to... I hope I'm going to have enough money to get a blue one and a black one. Now, are you, Catella, are you wearing the sandals from the event? I am. Oh, so have you got the whole outfit? Uh, just this one. I haven't I haven't done it as much. I, I uh, am still looking to get the blue one and the black one. Okay, all right. Oh, have you got the shorts as well? Yeah, you have, yeah. Yep, for this set. Yeah. Now, everyone's been talking about the fact that this all disappears. Blind Rage and Mini Ninja were saying that the dance disappears. But Merrick, if you're still with us there in the background, will all of these clothes stay with us or do they disappear as well after the event's finished? One would hope that all the clothes would stay with us, but uh, to be honest, I really don't know. you got to keep them. Oh, thank goodness for that, because it would be sad. Very sad then. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Minnie would be running around naked then. Yeah, th okay then, that's <laughs> that's disturbing. That is definitely disturbing. And me too. And that's even worse. Please. I'm only half naked. <laughs> that's enough. Trust me. Look at that. <laughs> Those white cheeks, they stick out a mile away. Okay, here we go. Let's have a chat to our vendor here. And you can see the entire Link Shell is having a chat. She's going to be very busy for the next few minutes. Here we go. Exchange Bombard Ash. Ooh, okay, so that's definitely a new option for us. Which do you choose, she says, and hopefully we'll get ourselves a... Oh, and do you know what? I can see a whole bunch of people earning achievements there in chat as well. Congratulations to all of you. Okay, so here we go. We've got the ladies, Yukata. We've got the red, blue, and black 
and we've got the black knickers, we've got the white knickers, we've got the gold knickers, we've got the ladies clogs, and we've got the bombard blooms. So hang on, let's talk to our resident fireworks expert here, Blind Rage Skywalker. What's different about this, the bombard bloom? Oh, was that someone letting one off just then? Is it a different color or something, Blind Rage? I have no idea. I haven't got it yet. <gasps> oh, okay. All right. It's probably shiny, though. Yeah, I bet you it is shiny. Here we go, the black one. You desire a lady's black yukata. Yes, I do. It can be yours in exchange for 50 pinches of bombard ash. Know, though, that I'm north not authorized to issue more than one set per cascadia. No exceptions can be made, save for in the event of unintentional misplacement. Proceed with the exchange. Yes, indeedy. And there we go. We've done a great service. Oh! Bombard backlash complete. Okay, so I got myself this quest. It's finished now, Catella, but she's still got a question mark over her head. Do I need to have a chat to her again? It, it's just there because you can continue to trade in things to her and buy more things. Oh, so if I want to continue getting more ash and compete in the quest that's out the front there, well, the event, I don't have to pick up a quest again, though. Like, I can just walk out the front and do it, yeah? Right, right. Okay, all right, because that'd be annoying if, you know, we forgot that we have to actually pick up a quest. Because knowing me, I would forget that. All right, so let's have another chat to her and see how much money we've got left from all of our generous donations. Here we go, exchange the bombard ash. And look at the fireworks going off everywhere there. And Mono is saying, oh, Mono, are you there in voice chat? Yes, I'm here. You say you've got extra ash as well because you've completed everything, have you? I'm just spending it on blooms right now if anybody needs it. There you go. Listen to that. Great to see. Of course, that's what we expect in Distant World. Everyone being generous. And thank you very much. Okay, so it's... Uh, where do I find out how much ash I've actually got? Because it doesn't seem to... Be your inventory. All right, so you inventory. have to check in your inventory. Oh, okay. All right. So we'll do that a bit later. Let's see. I've got the black ones. I might get the black knickers because I don't think... Yeah, I don't want to wear red knickers with my black outfit. So let's get the black knickers. There we go. You desire... Well, I'm not sure about this. You desire a pair of ladies' knickers. Well... No, but I'm going to buy some. There we go. And all done. Proceed with the exchange. And... Oh, wait a minute. It would appear you already possess that item. How? Catella, how do I already own a pair oh, of black Oh, the knickers? black one? Yeah. The black one is uh, from... Uh, That's yeah. what you got the one in the beginning. From red. Oh, I thought I got red ones. That's weird. The, the, gold, one, the gold ones are for, uh, is for the black set. Oh, okay. All right. I wouldn't have known. Here we go. Ladies knickers, gold, 50 pinches of bombard ash. Proceed. Yes, indeedy. And let's see. Yes, thank you very much. And there we go. You obtain a pair of ladies knickers. Right. Okay. Um, let's go in now and see if I've got any more money or any more ash. Let's see if I can buy the final color. Exchange bombard ash. There we go. Which do you choose? And I'm going to choose blue. Let's have a look. 30 pinches. Yes. Proceed with the exchange, and there we go. You obtain a lady's yukata blue. Very cool. All right, let's see if there's anything else we've forgotten here, folks. Exchange bombard ash. Which one do we choose? And we've got, let's see, some ladies clogs. Let's see if we've got enough money for those. Five pinches, hopefully we have. Proceed with the exchange. Yes, please. And there we go. We've got ourselves a pair of ladies clogs. So, hmm, if I'm thinking of this right, it means I've got a black yukata, I've got gold knickers, and I've got cogs. That sounds to me like occasion for a dress up. And in fact, what we might do, folks, is go behind the scenes and swap out some outfits, and then we'll hopefully meet up with the rest of the link shell here to say our goodbyes for this festival themed episode. We'll be right back. And here we are, folks. We're gathered with Distant World, our amazing Link Shell, here in the Amphitheatre. As you can see, we've kind of set ourselves up for what Lord only knows. Catella, I'd like to thank you very much for your assistance today, guiding us through the summer event. I love events. What about you? Yeah, they're my favourite. Yeah, they absolutely are mine as well. Have we got any more coming up that you know of? Not that I know of before 2.0 hits. 2.0. And by the way, Mini Ninja standing in front of me there. Thank you today as well for showing us your balls. Uh, now, do you know if anything? You're welcome. Do you know if anything else is coming up before? <laughs> 2.0 or do you know anything about like the shutdown for 2.0 a lot of people are talking about that all I know is that when the game goes down uh, and beta starts our characters will be unavailable and we'll be creating beta characters but when 2.0 goes live we'll get our characters back 
Okay, so there's going to be a big gap there. Blind Rage, are you going to survive without a Final Fantasy XIV character for a few weeks? Oh, I don't know. I might go into convulsions a couple of times, but yeah, I think I'll figure it out. I think it's like a forced break for all of us, so there you go, folks. Don't forget about that, and we'll let you know closer to the time exactly when those dates are, but it does mean that we'll probably be... Oh, I'd imagine we won't be able to film any episodes for a while. Actually, Catella, do we know how long it's going to be down for? We don't know for sure. They haven't for sure said how long exactly. Okay, all right. Well, I guess, like I said, we'll keep you guys posted as soon as we know anything. But in the meantime, this is what you're missing out on if you're not part of Final Fantasy XIV. And, in fact, of course, if you're not part of our amazing Link Shell here, Distant World, I'd like to thank everybody for all of their time who came along tonight to help us celebrate the summer event. And look at this. We've got fireworks going off. We've got Blind Rage dancing in the background. That's cause enough for concern. So I guess it's time for us to go on behalf of everybody here. It's me, Sambo, and Sarah for saying thank you very much for joining us. Take care. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever in the world you are. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then. And bye-bye, everybody. Bye. 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 I <laughs>